What I enjoy most about the Global Emerging Leaders Program is the diversity. It's the global diversity of the students, it's the diversity of the businesses represented, and the diversity of the talent in the room. What you begin to see emerge throughout the week, what becomes the gel of the program, if you will, is the fact, though, that each individual has an idea. Each person wants to be a leader in their own right, and that is what gel is all about. It is about exposing those ideas and bringing that leadership forward. This is a wonderful program for young professionals, for second and third generation family members, or in fact, for any young person seeking to meet both family members and business family members from China and also from the United States. It's a wonderful opportunity to network, to learn about how to make succession decisions, many personal decisions, and going forward with your life. Most of the Fortune 500 companies are already in China. They really fully realize the importance of the Chinese economy. And uh, they are in China to sell to the Chinese market. And for the family business in, this, in the United States, many of them are not uh, fully aware of the uh, importance of the Chinese economy. They thought that their immediate market is still in the US, which is a big enough market to them. And uh, they did not realize the importance of the Chinese economy. what leadership is. You know, what does it take to be a great leader? Are you born with it? Can you develop it? Trump, Hillary, is Hillary a failed leader? Is Trump a successful leader? This is from the president of TCL, and he says that 20 years ago, Chinese entrepreneurs who didn't read Western management books were ignorant. Now, those who still read Western management books and don't include Eastern management books are incompetent. And in a greater picture, if you stay true to yourself and true to where you believe you're leading people and true where you think you're going, it'll be very strong. <laughs>